This is the solution to written homework 26. Okay. So find the equation of the line through those two points. So we were not given an inter intercept, so not given a y-intercept. And therefore, we're going to end up using the point slope formulation of a line. So that means that we need to find the slope. And as for the slope, OK, so the change in x, that would be 6 minus negative 4, which is 10. And then the change in y is 7 minus 1, which is 6. So the slope is uh, 6 over 10 which is 3 over 5. And then the equation, well, that's y minus y1 is m x minus x1. And we can use either point. So to make our lives a little simpler, I'll use the point which has only positive values. So y minus uh, 7 is 3 fifths times x minus 6. So y minus 7 is 3 fifths x minus 18 fifths. So y is 3 fifths, x minus 18 fifths, plus 7. And then 7 is 35 fifths. So that would be 3 fifths, x minus 18 fifths, plus 35 fifths. And then <clears throat> adding those together, that's 17 fifths. So y is 3 fifths, x plus 17 fifths. OK. <clears throat> so part b is really just a visual version of part a. So let's see, can we see any points that this line goes through for sure? Okay, how about I can see that it goes through, um, hmm. So it appears to go through that point. So that is 0, 1. And it also goes through this point. That's the point, uh, what? 3 and 5. So we found two points on the line. So in principle, we could do it just like this one. But one of the points <coughs> is a y-intercept. So instead of using the point-slope formulation of the line, we can use the slope-intercept. Which is slightly easier to deal with. So specifically, <clears throat> what this is telling us, this here, is telling us that B is 1. And if we count now, that's 1, 2, 3. So delta x 
is 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, so delta y is 4. And those <coughs> together are telling us that the slope m is 4 over 3. And therefore, we just use y is mx plus b. mx plus b. And y is 4 thirds x plus 1.